purchase from largest ever pet shop. The only pet shop in downtown city. Back to you in the studio. Oh, dear, that is so wrong. That someone is robbing pet shops? No, that Fisher Biscuit thinks that largest ever is the only pet shop in downtown city. Well, of course, the robbery is terrible, too. What I don't get is who would want to steal merchandise from a pet shop? I don't have the foggiest idea, dear, but in case the robbers show up here, I'd better brush up on my kung fu quilting. <laughs> oh, the muscle! Sounds like a plan, Mrs. Twombly! Oh, oh. In the meantime, I've got to go brush up on some algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Sold exclusively at largest ever pet shop? Double what the huh? You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. You find a place you never knew where you're happy to. Just be you, we can be you. Who we wanna be, yeah. At the littlest pet shop, you and me. We can be yeah. Who we wanna be, yeah. At the littlest pet shop, you and me. Turn it to largest ever pet shop. Why, you can't just take the stuff back to largest ever pet shop. Why not? It belongs to them. If Blythe takes it back, they'll think she stole it. Hmm, good point. We are talking about the biscuits, after all. So what do we do? Hide the evidence? Come up with a cover story? Oh, this makes me very nervous. I'm very bad at lying. Watch. <clears throat> I'm very good at lying. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a terrible liar. Calm down, Sunil. We aren't going to lie. Honesty is always the best policy. Even if it does look suspicious. Largest ever pet shop! The only pet shop in downtown city! You girls have done a great service pointing out this thievery. This publicity has already caused a sensation. And we look, like, totally adorable on TV. Inventory alert. Inventory alert. I detect more merchandise is missing. More thievery? This has gone too far! Didn't you just say that this thievery was, like, good, Daddy? Well, yes, a business has been booming since I offered that reward. However, if this keeps up, we won't have any merchandise left to sell. Alert, alert, Monban detects stolen merchandise in vicinity. Like, stop right there. You can't get away with arms robbery, Blythe. Arms robbery? Ugh, look, I'm not trying to get away with anything. I found this stuff and I'm just bringing it back. Why would you, like, steal it and then just bring it back? I didn't steal it. Somehow it ended up over at Lula's pet shop. So just take it back. I don't even want the reward. Aha! Uh -huh. So you did it to collect the reward! What? No, I just said that... Whatever. When we prove that you did it, everybody's gonna see that you and your fur friends are criminals. Ugh. The pets were right. You two are gonna blame everything on me. The pets told you that? You are so, like, weird. Look, I don't know how your merchandise ended up in Lula's pet shop, but I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of it. So, like, Blythe's a detective now. As if. I don't care what she says. I'm pretty sure she just wants Daddy's reward. <sighs> we cannot let that, like, happen. <gasps> Brittany, I just had an idea in my brain. In your what? We should act like those two super cute investigators on our favorite show. FBI Super Cute Investigators! Ah! <laughs> In the investigation of crimes, there are two types of investigators. Those that are not cute, and those that are super cute. These are their stories. Let's, like, do it. Thanks for lending me this, Russell. I feel like a real detective. Now, let's see. These are yours, Russell. These paw prints are Minka's. These are Pepper's. And they end where she slipped on the banana peel. Ah, what a great gag, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. Those prints don't look familiar. Let's see where they lead. Hmm. <laughs> Aha! Well, that definitely doesn't belong there. What is that? It's one of those plastic tubes that you can keep adding on to to make bigger pet habitats. I wonder how far it goes. Hello! This could explain how the stolen merchandise from Largest Ever Pet Shop got here. 
To think that the bad guys have been using this tube to get into our pet shop. <laughs> well, I sure can't fit into that. Any volunteers to see where it goes? Volunteers? Who would be crazy enough to volunteer? <laughs> Pepper and Bin. Aww. Yes! We're on it, boy! Yeah! We're all so in it! Get it? Because we're in the dude! about these stolen items that'll lead us to the thieves. Hmm, we found two squeakerless chew toys, three plastic dog collars, a catnip cat. <laughs> Any sign of the thieves, Blythe? Nope. Awesome sauce. Keep one of your very large eyes open, Blythe. I've got to secure the perimeter. Let's hold it right there. Yeah, like freezer. Freezer? Uh, I'm not exactly trying to get away. Your sweet talk won't work on us, Blythe. We are the Park Care Investigators! We're gonna prove that you're the pet shop thief with, like, proof and stuff. And how are you gonna do that? Just like they did on episode 22 of SCI, Good Cop, Sad Cop. It's like a total thing that cops do. Are you having a pleasant day? Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> Let me guess. You're the good cop and you're the sad cop. Did, Did it work? work? No, because I have nothing to tell you. Ugh, this is really tiring. You two do realize that you're not actually on a TV show, right? Ugh, just like confess already so we can roll the end credits. I think this is my cue to, like, change the channel. Ugh, she got away! Don't worry, we'll get her in the next episode. But first, let's go home and rewatch season two of SCI. Hammer to investigators! <laughs> Electric slide. Ball, 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 ball. A quick spin. <laughs> and then, big finish! <gasps> Vinny, we've gone pretty far and in a lot of different tubes. Do you know how to get back? No. Nope. Great. We're lost. Lost? Oh, no! I'll never find a way back! Calm down. We just need to retrace our steps. Well, let's see. I think I did a mambo, then a watusi, then I did that cool moonwalk. <laughs> stuff got to Lola's pet shop. The question is, who brought it? Blimey, what do we have here? Trespassers. We're not trespassers, we're pets. Uh, I'm Pepper, and this is Vinny. My name's Dodger, and this is Twist. Yeah, and those are our secret tubes, so what are you doing using them? We're from Lola's pet shop? Our friend Blythe discovered your tube entrance and asked us to investigate. And a bunch of tubes later, here we are. Love your hat, Ted. Were you trying to escape from largest ever pet shop? Escape? No. Me and Twist don't really live here. We're city dwelling hamsters, traveling around and living wherever we like. So you use these tubes to go all around downtown city? That's right. See, we're on a mission. We aims to help less fortunate pets. Pets who have a need for stuff they ain't got. That's why we stopped here at this whopper of a pet shop. I mean, it's huge, isn't it? They got a gold mine of stuff just waiting to be brought to them who need it. Whoa! You guys are stealing? Sounds like you're the pet shop thieves. I wouldn't call it stealing per se. I'd say we's just um, borrowing stuff. Permanently? Well, it ain't for us. We're robbing from the rich and using our secret tubes to deliver it to pets who need it all around town. So you rob from the rich and give to the poor. Oh, I heard a story like that once. Pepper, what have you done? Oops, sorry, Vinny Hood. I slipped. Well, be more careful. Vinny Hood! Ah, uh, Maid Zoe, you are a vision. Uh, I am magnificent, aren't I? But this is no time for romance, Vinny Hood. The biscuits of Snottingham approach. Ah, the coach of goodies. Merry pets! The biscuits of Snottingham are about. How now, Rabbit? Hey, fair brother of the Shire! Oh, oh no! Hip, hip, hooray! To the tree! Uh, could you, like, hurry up? Like, yeah, we just bought a lot of stuff in the mall and we have to get home. Yes, Mom. Hey! Uh... I hereby take this coach of goodies. We will deliver. 
deliver them to the needy pets who deserve them. Vinny, oh! 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 you sound like Tarzan. Oops! <laughs> oh, wrong guy swinging on a vine. So, but how long have you two been doing this? A long time, but nobody ever noticed until now. Yeah, we got so much stuff, we didn't know what to do with it all. We used your little pet shop to store it. Yeah, that weird safe you have with no lock. I see. They must have thought the dumb waiter was a safe. <laughs> if it was a safe, it'd be called a dumb safe. But it's an elevator, so it's called a dumb waiter. Wait, what? Hang on. What happened to all the stuff we left in there? Life found it and she returned it. So I guess we'll be needing to steal, er, borrow some more stuff then, won't we? Hey, now, stealing is wrong. Yeah, but Robin Hood stole stuff and he was a hero. These guys are giving what they take to pets who need it. Mm. You really help other pets with what you take? Come, see for yourselves. some of the stuff they got here. Look, it's great that you're helping pets in need, but it's wrong to steal. You don't really think this place needs all this stuff, do you? Oh, this is bad. Oh, come on, we gotta stop them. Come back! Intruders, intruders. Intruders apprehended. Uh-oh. And that's when that big fancy robot took your friends Vinny and Pepper and locked them up. <gasps> We knew you was their friends, so we came right away. This has gone too far. I've got to get over to Largest Ever right now and get them back. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, you're not going to turn us in, are you? If they find out it was us, they'll destroy all our tubes. I won't turn you in, but you can't keep stealing from Largest Ever Pet Shop, even if it's for a good cause. Well, you see, it does sound like stealing, but we like to think of it more as a redistribution of wealth. Uh, do you think they might have mercy on our furry hides? Oh, of course, Twist. But right now... I need to get Pepper and Vinny back. Yous have all been very nice to us. Sorry for all the trouble. If only there was a way to return all that stuff you took. That would certainly make up for what you did. And show them that Vinny and Pepper weren't involved. Yeah, but we've only ever been to the largest ever pet shop in Blythe Scooter. How will we get there? Oh, we'll take the handy hamster highway, of course. The hamster highway, yeah! Them's our tubes, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> tube system all the way from our shop to your shop. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We caught them here just as they were about to steal more stuff. We can't believe you would stoop so like low as to use pets to do your dirty work. What? I I'm not doing that. There's one of the culprits right now. We are live at Largest Ever Pet Shop. The only pet shop in downtown city. Where the mystery of who's been robbing the store has been solved. That's right. This young lady works at a dingy little hole in the wall called Littlest Pet Shop. Wait a second. I thought Largest Ever was the only pet shop in downtown city. Uh, yes, well, the Littlest Pet Shop is not really a pet shop. Yes, we are. And Littlest Pet Shop is a better pet shop than yours. We actually care about pets. Your so-called pet shop is just a front for a burglary ring. And the fact that they are stealing from our pet shop proves it. We didn't steal anything. Then how do you account for the fact that the merchandise was found in your possession? Uh, that was, well, it was a crazy mix-up. You see, someone put it there, but I can't really say who or how. A likely story. It's true. Look, I can't explain it all, but trust me, Littlest Pet Shop is not involved in this. Young lady, if it weren't for my daughter's crack detective work... Super, super Kid Investigators! We never would have solved this. We, like, totally cracked the case. Now, do the right thing, Blythe, so we can get a reward from Daddy. Well, go ahead. Return it! <laughs> Where in the... Sold exclusively at Largest Ever Pet Shop? 
Mombat, is this the merchandise that was stolen? Affirmative. Largest ever pet shop merchandise. Go, oh, you bungling box of bolts! These things are discards! We were throwing them away! Computing appropriate response. Oops. Like they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ew, this is so, like, last month. Powder, blue, leashes, <laughs> striped pet booties, <laughs> gag. So, you would just throw this away rather than, say, donating it to needy pets around town? Uh, yes, that's exactly what we are doing. Uh, donating our discards to needy pets. Thank you, Mr. Biscuit. And we at Littlest Pet Shop will join you in that effort to help the needy pets of downtown city. <laughs> there you have it, folks. We've got a happy ending here at Largest Ever Pet Shop. Where our motto is... We're not the only pet shop in downtown city. In fact, come out and visit Littlest Pet Shop. Where our motto is, bigger isn't necessarily better. <laughs> Thanks for donating these things to the needy pets around town, Mrs. Swambly. Well, of course, dear. Though I still don't understand how that merchandise ended up in our dung later. Uh, maybe we... Oh, look! I think you have a customer. Welcome to Littlest Pet Shop. We may be little, but we sure do care. There you are, Blight. This here is a list of all the pets around town what's in need of stuff. I suppose you'll do a much better job of getting these things to them. Aw, thanks, you two. Your hearts were always in the right place. We decided to turn over a new leaf. No more stealing. Yeah, we don't need to. Folks toss perfectly good things in the trash. Right, trash bins is our new treasure chests. Dumpster divers we will be. Ha! You'll be dumpster dodger and I'll be twist trash. I ha, I ha, I. Really? Uh, no, nah, maybe not. So many dumpsters, so little time. Cheerio. Daddy, what happened to our, like, reward? Well, there really wasn't a thief to catch in the end. But I suppose you did help recover the merchandise. Very well. Here's your reward, girls.